Uh, in this video, we'll see how we can uh, create a, a secret secret manager. I'm going to create a secret for RTS. Um, let's see how we can do this. Right now, I'm in secret manager. Click on store a new secret. Here, you can create a secret for RDS for document DB Redshift cluster. All those things you can do. Uh, here, I'm going to do for RDS database. So, I'm going to click on this one. Then, then my username, which is my RDS. So I'm gonna my RDS. I have an RDS right now. This is my SQL Server, POC database. I have created this one and for my demo. So whatever the RDS you created, the same thing I'll be reflecting over in this here. So you can choose the one whichever you want. So I'm gonna use the admin, I mean user ID and password which I gave for this uh, uh, RDS. I'm gonna give the username. Username is admin and I give a password for this one well creation I'm gonna give that password and I'm gonna create an encryption key I'm gonna give as it is so I'm gonna use the default encryption here we have the secret manager then I'm gonna use this POC database this is the one I've created for RDS click on next so this is a secret name I'm gonna give here so this is my SQL server I mean, uh, secret I'm going to like this. So this is my SQL server secret. So my which has my ID and password, and you can give it give a description for this one. And if you want to give any tags uh, to in the logs to see all those things, you can give the key tags. I'm going to kill you as it is. Then I'm going to choose next. So and we have option here uh, to rotate this key secret so if you want to change the secret after certain days you can use this option you can choose automatic rotation click on this one and you can schedule the date like how many uh, so when you want this to be changed how, how long you want to keep this uh, password and after that you want to change the password so you can give anything from here like days weeks all those things you can give for the time being i'm giving us month here and choose after three months it's going to change so all those things you can click here and you can use the option rotate immediately when the secret is stored so once you save this one automatically it's going to get G reflect reflected on this uh, secret uh, password so i'm going to create a next test rotation function click on create rotation function so the, what it does is it's going to create a lambda function for this rotation so you can give a lambda name here I am going to give uh, SQL secret rotation. And you can use, use uh, then use separate credentials to rotate the secret. I am not using anything separate uh, credentials here. I am going to use, oh, I am going to give you give everything in this one itself. So next, I am going to give next. So here this kind of uh, review page, you can see what of things you have given here. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so this is, if you see here, you will want to create this page, this one, you will have this code matter that will create in Lambda. So this will uh, does this uh, rotation policies. So this will automatically create this uh, uh, Lambda function in the background. I will create this and you can see this in the Lambda click on store so now it is creating here let me quickly go open lambda and we can see right now I'm in lambda click on functions here so still it is not created let's wait for some more time see now we have a secret here lambda function here secret manager this is called secret rotation this is a name i gave there gave in the secret manager so now you could see the lambda function here so now this lambda is created here And a secret manager now the secret has been saved here so if you want to see the secret just click on this retrieve secret value 
this will show the all you all the values whatever you have mentioned in the uh, configuration page when in the beginning so in this way you can create uh, uh, create your secrets in uh, secret manager and you can utilize those secret in your code instead of uh, putting everything in the code when your secret manager to get your secrets keep your secrets and so that you could expose that uh, credentials to outside world in this way you can do this uh, keep the secret uh, in a safer place